Today I'm going to show you how effective a medicine ball is in creating a strong, resilient core. Now this 8 pound rubber ball is highly effective in working your muscles, ligaments, and tendons in a way no other form of exercise can replicate. So let's get started. But before we get started, we have to make sure our lower back and core are nice and loose. So the way that I get loosened up is I go fairly down and I really reach for my ankles. And then I take the back of my head to the ceiling 10 times. Now I'm going to get on my side and I'm going to take my left hip directly to the ceiling. One more, we're almost completely loosened up. Now it's important to get loose before we do this because most of the time, lower back injuries are what keeps people on the sidelines. So as long as we loosen ourselves up, our chances of getting hurt go way down. Now our first exercise is going to be a straight slam right down the middle. I only want to focus on two things. I want to keep my chest up and I want to use my butt and legs to absorb the power of the throat. So as you can tell, it's not so much about throwing with your head and your hands, it's about using your legs and your core together as one unit. Alright, now for our second exercise, we're going to go ahead and throw the medicine ball laterally. So we're going to go ahead and focus on our hips and our lower back here as well. Now remember, you want to keep your body solidified as one unit, so don't try to throw too hard with just your arms. touch it to my chin. That's how I know that I'm getting my hands high enough and I'm using my core as a unit. Now that we're nice and loosened up, we're going to go ahead and test our hand-eye coordination and alternate left side and right side together. Again, keep your chest up and use your legs. That's the point of all this. So your whole body works as one unit. don't always control the ball perfectly, but that's okay, because every time you move left or right like this, you're definitely getting a good workout. Now for our fourth variation, I'm going to get into a split lunge, which puts a lot of pressure on my hips, a lot of good pressure, and I'm going to go ahead and wood chop to the side. You're going to get a lot of work on the inside of your leg as well as on the outside of your leg. Now you want to try with all your might to keep your chest up and your front leg at a 90 degree angle. The whole point is to work the muscles and not the joints. Exercise of the day, we're going to go ahead and do some basic punches. 
I'm gonna take my right hand, put it along the medicine ball here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and extend out much the same way I would. I'm going a straight punch. Now we just wrapped up 30 minutes of intense plyometrics. This is going to help your golf game, it's going to help your lower back, it's going to help your overall flexibility. I highly recommend you get one of these and make it a staple in your exercise routine. It's small enough you can fit in your closet and it won't bother your wife, but it's powerful enough where you can still get a great workout, totally exhaust yourself, and where you'll feel it the next day here, buns and hips. Be well my friends.